Chris 6 News at noon continues. Good noon time, everybody. Another breezy day over South Texas and the temperatures. Well, they're beginning to feel like they're more like July than, uh, well, almost June. It just seems like we've gotten into this very quickly. We've got gusty winds right now sustained at 24 miles an hour. So you can put another five or eight miles an hour on top of that. So we're getting gusts up to 30 miles an hour and everybody's on the breezy side already around 90 degrees. So we're definitely pushing that mark a little bit on the cloudy side. But as I mentioned, our clouds are basically capped under a strong ridge of high pressure and everything is happening to the north where that high pressure is not. Uh, let me show you what's happening. This is, uh, let's see, Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, across to Missouri, uh, to Oklahoma, to North Texas. Everybody on the periphery of that high is getting all that severe weather. In Texas, we're obviously having all kinds of problems. Now, along I-20, which is right about here, we've had reports of hail, wind damage. Uh, I don't know if we've seen any tornadoes yet, but right about there is Dallas, and they are basically under a severe thunderstorm watch for the rest of the afternoon. Line number one, line number two, line number three. In fact, not only are they under a thunderstorm watch, but much of North Texas, basically north of Waco, is under a flash flood watch because they've had so much rain. So as far as we're concerned, we're not anywhere close to that. We've got high pressure on top of us, and that's keeping any of these clouds from building up as showers. Now, Today, just as scheduled, we've got the severe weather expected in the Fort Worth, uh, Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. We've got stormy weather possible even as far south as Waco and maybe Austin. But tomorrow, even though the heavy weather moves to the northeast, we will have uh, some ability of getting some shower activity around here. Let me show you why. Here's a storm center that's beginning to move east. The frontal system is where all the boundary, all the activity is occurring. And this bubble of hot air was the one that was helping us to stay out of the very stormy weather. Well, you can see how the hot weather is colliding with the cooler air right about here. And that's where the storms are. Now, Wednesday night, some of those storms will start moving south down I-35. And on Thursday and on into Friday, we have the possibility of some thunder showers here. Then as we get to the weekend, high pressure builds in, then all of a sudden, you're going to wish we had a little bit of a breeze or something to cool us down because we're going to go from very windy to almost no wind at all by the time we get to the weekend. So 30 mile an hour wind today, 20 tomorrow, below 15 over the weekend. And our best shot for thunder showers will be to the north. They'll be isolated and it'll be Thursday and Friday. Uh, I don't expect everybody to see any kind of rain on that, but some will be possible as that whole system moves a little further south. That's your seven-day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. Mike, back to you.